What's up, y'all? It's Dizzy Rashawn Royale, and welcome to my page where I like to talk about things that I find informative, helpful, and educational. In this video, I am going to teach you how to do a simple, easy, and beautiful roller set on your natural hair, no matter what your hair type is. Roller sets are cheap, easy, and a classic way to achieve bouncy and pretty curls. You can find roller sets at almost any beauty store or even convenience store. They range from around $3 to $5. They come with snappable parts and are super comfortable to sleep in. Keep watching for how you can achieve bouncy and pretty curls with the basic roller set. So the first thing you're gonna want to do, at least in my opinion for the best results, is style your hair on freshly shampooed or even co-washed hair. I chose to co-wash my hair. The benefits of co-washing your hair is retaining moisture, strengthening curls, and ensuring hair growth and also adding softness. Co-washing is easy and it's simple. All you have to do is mimic the process of shampooing and rinsing. It isn't meant to strip your hair squeaky clean. You can save that for wash day. Instead, it is a way to freshen up your hair a little bit and add moisture and slip back into it. After you are done co-washing or shampooing your hair, you are going to detangle and moisturize using four sections. Detangling is easier when done in sections and can significantly cut down styling time as well as promote less breakage. I use a paddle brush, but you can use any brush or comb that works best for your hair. Try to distribute product more toward the ends and less toward the root to prevent buildup, especially if you are prone to having itchy dry scalp. I have that. Personally, I'm going to be using Cantu Coconut Curling Cream for this style. After you are finished detangling and moisturizing your hair, you are going to want to keep those four sections in and you're going to do your sponge rollers section by section. So you're going to take one section down and you're going to install the sponge rollers from the tip going up to the root. Smooth hair down with your hands or brush or comb before rolling upwards. Try to get as close to the scalp as possible but not too tight or your head will hurt. Snap the roller together and you're done. So to repeat, after you've finished smoothing your hair down, you want to place the roller at your ends and you want to roll up in an upward motion and then you want to snap. After you've repeated this on all four sections of your hair, you are going to want to wait 12 hours drying time. You can minimize that time by using a hooded hair dryer or you can style on dry hair. That can knock your drying time down to about five hours or even less if you sit under a dryer for an hour or more. I stress for you to know that this second to your rolling technique is the second most crucial part of doing these roller sets. If you do not ensure your hair is 100% dry before you take this down, you're going to end up with frizzy hair and weird looking curls. Set aside time to make sure your hair is dry before you take these out. The finished product will be worth it. After you've waited a certain amount of time until it's fully dry to take it down, just unsnap your rollers and unravel until your hair pops out. You want to separate each chunk of hair from each roller. You can choose how much separating you want to do. Some people prefer to separate very small sections in pieces. I'm pretty lazy about that, so I just separate however I feel like it. Just make sure to take the rollers down and separate the curls. You can use your fingers, a brush, or comb. It depends on what look you're going for. I use my hands. And these are my finished results. They're very soft, shiny, and fluffy. For more natural hair videos and just informative videos in general, you should subscribe to my comments so you can see whenever I post and you should also like my content just to show love. I appreciate you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video.